Hello everyone. I'm here today to um, talk about um, an impact study that um, we conducted on uh, in Morocco, and it's about um, uh, evaluating the, the agricultural climate change impacts on Moroccan agriculture and the economy, um, including uh, uh, an analysis of uh, the impacts of the Plan Maroc Vert PMV strategy uh, in Morocco. Um, so um, basically, um, my presentation outline. I'm going to start just. Uh, discuss a little bit the motivation and objectives of the study um, and give a snapshot about the Moroc Moroccan economy um, through some stylized, stylized facts um, to move and uh, discuss the analytical uh, approach adopted for the, for the analysis, uh, describe the data and the scenario analysis uh, um, identified and uh, present you with results and uh, conclusions. So uh, the motivation behind um, um, studying um, and modeling the, the impacts of climate change uh, and their economic impacts um, has to do with, and especially in agriculture, has to do with the fact that um, uh, we know that agriculture is the biggest, is, pro is projected always to be the biggest loser from climate change impact, at least in the region, in the context of Morocco. And through the, the linkages of, 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 ag, of ag sectors um, to the rest of the economies, there is some important feedback effects and linkages uh, that feeds off each other uh, so uh, we need to understand those linkages uh, and what it entails in terms of, of costs and, uh, and the impacts. Um, um, so far, there, there, there are few um, um, uh, climate change impacts uh, that has been done um, in Morocco, and um, there, is, there, is, there is a growing need um, uh, to provide uh, policymakers with the, with the um, more uh, uh, updated uh, studies so that uh, policy uh, making can be uh, done based on informed choices, and um, uh, then there is need for basically for quanti quanti uh, quantification uh, of these impacts so that policymakers can better grasp uh, the impact and uh, the extent to which uh, their policies m might help adapt to uh, the general impact. So um, basically, uh, what we propose we propose uh, um, to assess the climate change impact in Morocco, adopting uh, a, a regional. Um, um, uh, perspective, we're basically disaggregating the country in, in multiple regions and we're mapping out basically the, uh, the projected impacts uh, on those regions. And uh, for that, we used um, and will establish climate scenarios for Morocco um, uh, with and without adaptation uh, uh, strategies. Um, uh, agriculture in Morocco is, is a key sector. Um, Despite the fact that in recent years there, is, there has been more decoupling of the economy from agriculture and moving more, more towards um, industry and manufacturing and services, but still agriculture has some still uh, important linkages and it's a very strategic uh, sector. It shares, if, if we add, for example, the food processing sector, which has strong ties to the ag uh, production sector, it accounts for 90% of GDP back home uh, in Morocco. Uh, in terms of labor force um, and employment, um, agriculture employs 43% um, in general, and in rural areas it can reach to up to 78% of, of, of labor. Um, the, the, the ag sector in Morocco is still um, dominated by rain fed production to a large extent. Um, irrigated land represents only 11% of total agricultural land, and um, uh, and that is due basically to the large share of cereal production that is uh, the predominant uh, production in, in Morocco and which account for 68% of total arable land. Um, in terms of uh, uh, agriculture as well has some, some important linkages in terms of trade and foreign, and, and, and foreign exchange. Uh, it accounts for, for example, 23% of export of total merchandise export and uh, for 11% of total merchandise import. So historically, um, uh, ag productivity in, 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 in Morocco can be uh, tracing it back to, um, to post-independence as we can divide it like in three phases. Phase one was characterized by um, low productivity uh, uh, levels and um, that was primarily um, due to um, the policies enacted uh, um, after independence, where um, the, the country has been following an aggressive import substitution strategy, basically, where agriculture sector was playing a major role in driving the, the, the whole, uh, the whole uh, strategy. Uh, so there was like multiple conflicting policies that 
most of the time offsets each other's uh, and uh, help explain why, for example, we observe this, uh, um, this situation. Um, the trends picked up, changed a little bit in, during the 80s, um, where uh, the, the Morocco started uh, investing aggressively in agriculture, um, um, especially with, with the King's Plan. What they, 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 started like, they started investing in doubling, uh, trying to double basically acreage, especially for cereals. Um, there was a lot of encouragement for, um, for investment in the ag sector. And as a result, we've seen uh, productivity picking up but um, one of the major problems that, that, that faces the ag sector and, uh, as displayed is this, this problem of volatility of performance. And that was a major problem for, for Morocco. And pri it, it's, it's primarily driven by um, the, the lack of resilience of ag sector to climate shocks in the country. Uh, historically, um, 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 droughts have had like severe impacts on, 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 uh, on, on agriculture in Morocco and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's improving, but uh, as we can observe from, from the volatile trend in, uh, in, uh, in, in the ag GDP, um, this is still a, a recurring issue um, in Morocco. So um, our analysis basically used uh, a computable general equi equilibrium model. Um, it's based off IFPRI's uh, general framework by Logfren and all in 2002, and as adopted by uh, my colleague Dudu here and Chuck Mack in 2010. So we try to capture the Moroccan economy um, through 30 production sectors and producing 30 commodities. And we have um, ag agricultural production is modeled through 10 activities with livestock, four activities, and the rest of the sector as, as, as displayed. Um, households are represented by two representative households. We just we captured the rural and urban households, and um, they are basically regionalized um, uh, in Morocco. And, uh, the government accounts and the rest of the world, of course. Uh, production basically is modeled as a profit maximization uh, problem where uh, producers uh, try to maximize their profit subject to a technology constraint, a production constraint, um, using uh, uh, a set of primary factors of production, labor, capital, and different land categories. <coughs> Households uh, maximizes utility uh, subject to consumption expenditure constraint, and um, government um, basically collects tax. There is no behavioral modeling of government. It's, um, so in terms of closure assumptions, we assume basically the consumer price uh, index, which captures basically uh, the price that consumers buy to pay to buy food in the country. That's basically is, is a numerator that's with respect to which we the, the, the the, the model solves uh, with respect to which all prices are, are basically solved in relative terms. Um, exchange rate is flexible uh, because we think that in the, long, in the long term, although Morocco is following somewhat, um, uh, has somewhat a big uh, controlled uh, policy in terms of exchange rate, but in the long term, uh, with, it's, it's, a fair, it's a fair assumption to make that exchange rate will be allowed to, to fluctuate to, um, to, to allow for um, external shocks, so far and so, and so on. So the base data is from a social accounting matrix um, developed by Dr. Rashid Dukali, uh, who is uh, in IAV Hassan II in, in Rabat, in Morocco. Uh, the base year was for, for 2003, and um, it was um, modified um, basically to account for our adopted sectoral aggregation. Um, the regional aggregation is based on the administrative and economic regions in Morocco, and they are um, 15. So um, basically, we 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 we, um, we regionalize crop production based on data from uh, the agriculture survey on major productions for the base year 2002 to 2003, which match, matches up with the with the, the base year of the of the SAM. And for the rest of the production sector, we used uh, a, whole, uh, a host of different sources, basically, that give statistics specifically about each sector so that we came up with the, uh, a fairly uh, good regional structure for the other sectors. Uh, in terms of uh, the, the, climate, uh, the climate yield, um, we used the um, uh, climate impacts from the World Bank Morocco FAO study. Uh, um, they estimated basically uh, climate change impact for 50 crops and their four time horizons and for two SREES scenarios. Um, 
we picked the, the 2050 horizon uh, because um, it seemed to, fair to, to, to be fairly, um, basically, uh, uh, good in capturing our, um, our two, um, two concerns. That is, um, climate change impacts are, are projected to be severe, like in the long term. So we needed, we needed basically um, kind of a long-term projection of, of the climate change impact. But on the other hand, these, these impacts are highly uncertain. Like the more we go forward on time with climate projections, the more, the more there is a greater noise of uncertainty. So we chose 2050, kind of a middle road between uh, the available choices of time horizons that, 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 that are available in the, in the study. Um, the, the yield impacts were uh, initially downscaled um, to 10 kilometer by 10 kilometer grid cells, which are compatible with um, the EEZs in Morocco. Um, and that's basically the initial aggregation of the climate change impact. We uh, had to basically disaggregate even more, move from the EEZ to the, the EER, uh, to the AER uh, uh, aggregate, regional aggregation. And uh, to do that, basically, we just inferred um, by a cross comparison of, uh, of, of maps where basically each AEZ uh, lies in terms of uh, regional coverage of, of our regions. And uh, we use the production statistics basically to compute an index for each crop of the, of the, of the, of the, of the, the yield impacts in each region. Um, So in summary, basically, we identify eight scenarios we have uh, that span basically the, 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 S, the, S, the, climate, the climate change scenarios that we adopted and as well uh, our uh, scenario analyses. Um, basically, they span like two, S, uh, two climate change scenarios, A2 and B2, and the different specifications. The climate yield impacts uh, are provided with and without C2 fertilization effects that can uh, be quite important uh, in terms of uh, impacts on, on yields. <laughs> Um, in terms of um, um, adaptation policy, Morocco has uh, recently, back in 2008, 2009, initiated um, um, a big strategy, investment strategy called the, the Plan Maroc Vert, um, with, with the aim basically to boost agricultural production and uh, make agriculture sector like one of the main drivers of, 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 of economic development in the country. And um, their aim basically is um, uh, to achieve that through um, providing assistance and encouragement um, primarily for private investment um, uh, through public-private partnerships, and uh, as well as modernization of distribution circuits and enhanced integration with local international markets, and uh, encourage and uh, uh, reconversion of land crop. Basically, this is just uh, um, uh, adopting a more suitable uh, crop mix uh, by farmers, especially in rural areas, to move them away from uh, basically uh, uh, climate sensitive crops to more climate resilient crops and uh, uh, other policies. So um, this basically summarizes um, the PMV has um, uh, a, region, a regional um, uh, basically uh, plans that, that identify this, the, the the, the targets in terms of uh, productivity for each of the, of the regional plans. And this table basically summarizes um, um, the targets uh, that are included in PEV in terms of uh, productivity gains expected from the, uh, from the, from the, 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 the investment uh, project. Now, uh, to move and discuss um, the, the projected yield, I mean, in Morocco, basically, um, uh, and uh, as has been mentioned, by, uh, by my colleague Ahmed, um, uh, the tendency is, is that Morocco, agriculture in Morocco suffers from climate change. And uh, for, for clear reasons that we mentioned before, uh, a dominance, predominance of cereal production in the country. Um, most of the, the, um, the land is, is under rain-fed production uh, systems. And uh, this is, this is the, the results basically showcase um, what, uh, what, what we see is, we know it's like huge, de substantial declines basically in in the main cereal productions um, that suffer basically uh, substantially from, uh, from from climate change, but uh, on the other hand, there are the, the impacts are quite 
mitiga mitigated um, for, for, uh, for crops that are mainly irrigated, like tomatoes and, cit and citrus in Morocco. They, they, tend to, they tend to basically lose and win, but uh, for example, under more, uh, under more uh, uh, favorable climate, under um, more favorable, uh, if you include, for example, C2 fertilization effects, um, the, the latter, the latter, basically, we, we see some gain yields in those in those crops, and that has to do basically with the fact that um, uh, there is there is a difference on how um, crop categories uh, basically um, react to concentration of CO2 in, in, in the atmosphere, and um, usually uh, vegetables and citrus because uh, because they are irrigated, they tend to benefit from more concentration of of, of CO2 in, in the atmosphere. Um, so um, basically, we run our analyses, and um, overall, what we see is uh, under basically the worst case scenario, and assuming no adaptation, um, the, uh, the the overall impact is is is, is quite uh, is quite negative and quite substantial. Um, I mean, GDP falls by uh, minus three percent. Um, all all the macro accounts showcase. Uh, negative impacts of, of climate change. This basically just um, what it tells us. Basically, is just that the severe shock of climate change basically act as a drag on the economy as a whole. Basically, is the whole economy is contracting, and uh, to uh, to varying degrees. But agriculture sector and food processing sec industry basically particularly are affected, um, and that's that's normal um, because. Um, um, for food sector, for example, there is there is strong linkages between the ag and food processing uh, uh, and, and food processing industry. When we compare these results, for example, to historical uh, historical data, we, we have seen in the past that severe climate climate shocks can have can have similar impacts on the country. It's not it's not something that's new in, for, for Morocco. It has been uh, reported. Um, in the past, uh, during severe droughts, for example, in, in the 81 drought, um, we, we have seen some, some, some substantial um, decrease in, 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 in GDP. Uh, but in general, as the economy moves more and decouples more from agriculture, there is like more resilience built in to these kind of shocks. But um, it, it's still... Um, um, it, it's it's still it's clearly it clearly shows that, um, that the more severe cl the, the climate shock is, uh, the more um, um, negative impact is on the economy as a whole to be expected. When we look at the sectoral, um, yeah. we run out of the time. If you can just okay, so I'm gonna move um, quickly. Um, so um, this is just basically impact on income. Basically, what, what we would expect is. Um, um, as the economy shrinks, basically there is some decline in returns to factor of production. Um, uh, with, therefore, this, which is translated bas basically by lower wages. Um, this basically uh, translates into um, losses of, of household income. And if we couple that basically with, with the price effects from reduced supply, um, basically uh, from reduced production of level, um, it translates into de a decline in household consumption, which affects the, the welfare. Um, just to move um, to uh, quickly to the adaptation. So when when we account for adaptation, um, we see that there is a potential basically for um, for uh, for reversing the trend with with the PMV strategy. But uh, um, the, the the PMV strategy as as it stands is um, is is an investment project. The targets the ga the productivity gains that basically they project. Are, uh, are basically assumptions on you know, the achievable. Whether or not that could be translated in reality remains a question mark and uh, needs uh, to be further um, investigated. Um, so thank you for your attention.